So go to the blind side. Creates a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's again just showing the staunchness in defence and the attitude of this Canadian team. Brienne Nicholas doing uh -oh. extremely well, and here we go. She's got no one in front of her. Charity Williams has scored one this game, scored two in the first game, and no one is going to stop Charity Williams. She goes coast to coast. How beautiful is that? Charity Williams, full flight, scoring a decisive try here at Canada Sevens. So, Netherlands restart, looking to get some possession here, and, and Finbergen makes the tackle. Let's pick off the deck with Zachary. Javelet calling for him on the outside, just delayed that little bit, 5S8, but Javelet goes through them and look at that for turn of pace and off she goes they will not catch her jessica javelin there was nothing on when she got the ball created a try out of nothing and that is beautiful form from one of the fastest players on the hsbc sevens world series options left and right foot the Aussies decide to go left through Alicia Quirk. Looking for it, the late cut just to get it out. Nice return ball from Detroit. Like how they use that ball to manipulate space and short corridors. Now they've created a lot of acre on this near side of the field. Ball in two hands and Chloe Dalton shrugs off the defender. One more pass will do it. Emily Cherry gets a double. Simple hands through the through the back line, but Stockton there just missed that tackle on Dalton, and Dalton not being selfish, giving it to a player in better position. Hebelin takes it on the bounce. Ember coming back inside. Chet Ember, Ember want to beat. Oh, look at that from Chet Ember. Tearing the English defence apart, she's going to have the legs to get there. That was individual skill at its very best. Do you know what was good about that? You were saying very patient, she cut that beautiful line of Heverland and then just backed herself. So no sweeper employed by the New Zealand team. First time the French team have actually had the ball in the attack. Nice behind the tackle of Pelé. And the turnover by Saeli. What can the young lady do? She can do that. She can pass it off. Mays oh. takes the hit. Gives it out to Williams. And frees up Williams with the loop round to the ever present Michaela Bly. This girl is money. One out the back door there. Hands high. Another hit received by uh, Crystal Mays and then one more pass over the top and Blythe will happily run that one in. Now Mohawk, great start, great kick, great restart wasn't it? O'Flynn batters it back down into the yards of Ashley Baxter. So clears the ball, nice and deep. Now the playmakers for this Irish team were able to get into the game, Mohawk Runs a long way, the step inside, the missed tackle, can she oh. go all the way? Moho, oh yeah! That is a bit of individual brilliance by Lucy Moho. Sets up her defender, and watch this, how many defenders does she beat? One, two, arm tackles from England, three, and then the gas, just to finish it off. Great inspiration from the captain for her teammates. Mays calling the line outs, and it is Crystal Mays who gets up there, ball off the top. Nathan Wong with the flat pass. It's Patrick, nice wrap around, the gap's opening up, and New Zealand are tearing Canada apart at the moment, and the captain's going to score. Tyler Nathan Wong silencing the home crowd, and Canada caught completely cold here. The line out, well executed, and then just watch Niall Williams, he cuts his lovely line back inside that puts Canada off. And Nathan Wong just runs outside that corridor, that space of the defence. 